What's so great about KT Rolster? <laughs> well, I was a Brood War fan, uh, so I was I was a KT fan going going way back. Even though I was a Zerg player, and obviously KT is uh, mostly known for well, there have been a bunch of of great KT players, uh, but not so well known for their Zerg players. Mostly known for Flash, of course, in the, in the later days of of Brood War, but. I just started being a fan of, of the team, watching Pro League and watching their players in the OSL, and I just kept enjoying them. And fortunately for me, also, I think what sort of, what solidified my fandom in League of Legends was the KT Rolster Bullets, because in starting in 2013, they became the most intelligent strategic team. Maybe they didn't have all the best players mechanically. Maybe they didn't have all the stars, but they did have excellent planning, uh, excellent macro play, uh, excellent execution of strange strategies. And that excited me way more uh, because the more different something is from solo queue, the more excited I get by it because you see all of the thought that goes into the creation of these strategies, and I found that really, really fun. Which is funny because later the KT Rolster Arrows were the team that won champions in Korea, and they were the exact opposite of the Bullets in that they were sort of like a hot mess of, of chaos, and, and it was a miracle I think they won that final. But the Bullets were really, I think, my favorite team in League of Legends still. And although I will say that I did, I did love the Rocks Tigers as well. I did. I did really love them, and they're. I, I really like their players. You know, I, I'm friends with Gorilla, and he's. I'm. I'm inspired by what they had to overcome to get to where they are now, and how well they dealt with that. So, and how s sort of scrappy the org was. Uh, so I really enjoyed them and their personalities also. But I think the KT Bullets were the ones that, after Brood War, s solidified my love of KT and. Uh, later, SKT also, if you look past their first two seasons in 2013, where it was mostly about mechanical outplay skirmishes rather than the best strategy, they became obviously an extremely airtight strategic team over the year. So I, I appreciate that about them as well. But it's more of a it's more of a joke at this point uh, with KT because obviously. I really like KT as an organization, and I consider myself a KT fan, but that doesn't come through on broadcast because I just like to see good games. And I think it's fun because for me, I haven't really had a conflict between being a KT fan publicly and people accusing me of KT bias or anything. Or if they do, it's more as a, of a joke, right? And, and people talk about me killing KT all the time whenever I get excited about them. So at this point, it's just funny. And like I like having this, or, this interaction with the fan base. But I just try and think about what would happen if an NFL commentator was like publicly came out as a fan of a team, even if it was just joking and there wasn't bias there. And if he publicly recognized that the team was doing badly and made fun of them, like I make fun of KT. And I think people just lose their shit. Like, I think the, I think the cries of bias would be huge, but weirdly it's never been an issue between the fans and me and Doa is the SKT fan. And we like make fun of each other when SKT and KT are playing and it becomes part of our dynamic. And I think that's one of the stronger points that shows that the audience expectations are very different when Doa and I broadcast, they want to hear the banter because it's like it's like hanging out with people who are your friends and you get to be a part of this conversation or listen into this conversation while the game's going on while also hopefully getting some information about the game, getting hyped up by, by good play-by-play -play commentary. But there isn't that conflict where the fans may be a fan of a certain team. And I think that... Esports fans tend to, for the most part, uh, be able to take losses better than traditional sports fans and sort of laugh at themselves or, or laugh at the team and understand that they're not going to do, it's not a matter of life or death for them whether their team wins. So they, they do take it a little bit more with a grain of salt and, and have a sense of, of humor about it. So I, th I hope they can see that too, where, you know, I love KT to win, but if another team wins and plays better, I will still appreciate that team for winning while being, you know, a little sad about it and then making some jokes, you know. So it's just, it's really, really interesting because I didn't know, 
when I first started doing that, how well the audience would take it. And it turned out pretty well overall. And it's funny, too, because people still think I'm an SKT fan. I'm like, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, I am. I enjoy watching them play very much. But the KT is, is my team, first and foremost. For more league interviews and analysis, subscribe to our channel. You can also find stats, discussions, and more on our website and mobile app at blitzesports.com.